Hello everyone, um, my name is uh, Vince and welcome to my 40 pound in 30 days weight loss challenge. Now, um, and this is day 11. Day 11 can't woo, day 11 can't woo. Time is passing by so quickly. And um, this 30 day challenge will be over in no time. I'm almost at the halfway mark once you look at it. But I wanna to talk to you guys about weight loss challenges and the one thing you should never do in a weight loss challenge. And that is cheat. If you're ever doing a weight loss challenge, don't cheat. It will throw you um, behind uh, your goals and your schedule and all that stuff and whatnot. Um, I made the mistake of cheating during this challenge because um, my challenge, uh, the 4th of July came while I was in the midst of this challenge. And after well, my seven days, I'm doing 40 pounds in, in 30 days. So after seven days, I weighed myself and I was to uh, lose 10 pounds, which I did. So I hit my goal weight. In seven days, I lost 10 pounds. But then after that, I kind of went crazy. And it was the 4th of July. And um, I bought Irish cream, liquor. You know that has a lot of calories. It's chocolate and liquor. You know, it's nothing but calories in that thing. But it's my drink of choice. I'm a wuss when it comes to alcohol. So, you know, foofy drinks like that, uh, I like. When I go to a restaurant, I order daiquiris. You know, because I'm a manly man like that. So... <laughs> But um, I ordered ice cream, I bought potato chips, I ate it with uh, salsa dip, and uh, I bought White Castle, frozen White Castle burgers, because I'm from New York, and White Castle uh, is uh, one of my favorite fast food restaurants growing up with the 10 when I was growing up, the burgers were like 10 cents, and then they went up to a quarter, we thought that it was highway robbery, you know, by their little square sliders and whatnot, we thought it was highway robbery charging us a quarter for one slider back in the day. I'm dating myself, I know. So, um, I ended up cheating. And then, I gained back, you wouldn't, uh, you can't imagine how much weight I gained back. I lost 10, and then I went crazy with the diet, and I gained back six. And I'm telling you, trying to get these six pounds off is like pulling teeth. I don't want to say something that's hard, but it's very challenging. I, always, I will say it's challenging. And, you know, I had to lose that six pounds plus another 10 to uh, make my goal of weighing myself on day 14 and being 20 pounds uh, less than what I weighed in at. I weighed in at 240. So at day 14, I have to be down to 220. I'm going to do it, but I'm playing catch up to do it. So if you're ever doing a weight loss challenge, the one thing you don't want to do is cheat. You want to go through the whole challenge and be disciplined about um, um, your challenge and your goals and all that stuff. And then you can cheat after the challenge is over. Like if I lose 40 pounds, or not if. When I lose 40 pounds at the end of 30 days, I can cheat maybe and gain six back and then start on a new challenge and go from there. So overall, you know, I can still say, well, I'm still 34 pounds down um, from where I was before, which is for me would be significant to be uh, at 240, go down to 200, celebrate a little bit, go back up to 206. Big deal. But in the middle of it, it is a big deal. At the end of it, not so much. All right, so that's my advice to everybody out there who's doing a weight loss challenge. Um, don't cheat. Now, another thing uh, I want to share with you and <clears throat> how you can lose weight more efficiently is that you gotta uh, switch your routines up. You know, I'm always thinking about how can I do things differently. If you go to the gym and you do the same thing time after time again, you're not going to be making any gains because the body is so quick at uh, adapting, right? So I see the people that go to the gym and they're on the elliptical and they're 
doing the elliptical all the time and whatnot, you know. And maybe when you first start, you'll be shocking muscles. But after a while, you're not going to be shocking anything. You know, uh, you're really going to be spinning tires. Well, not really spinning tires, but you're not going to be making gains, the gains that you could be making. So today, um, all right, let's go back a, few, a couple of days. You know, I did the elliptical. I stayed on there an hour to try to get rid of some of this weight that I had gained back. And then instead of getting on the elliptical again the next day, I got on the treadmill and did an hour on the treadmill, you know, because this is a different exercise. Uh, elliptical is uh, supposedly no impact because uh, neither one of your feet come off the pad and, and um, walking is low impact because one foot comes off the floor. I don't run because it affects my knees and my hips. Uh, I used to run like 12 miles three times a week and after years of doing that it started to affect me and so I had to make some adjustments and plus exercise physiologists and scientists believe you can get the same benefits from walking that you can from running minus the uh, degradation and degeneration of the bones all right um so I walk wherever I go except now I'm starting to do wind sprints so I I don't do steady state running you know well, I do do wind sprints and to speed up my metabolism, and I just added that back into my routine. So switch your routines up, and 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 what I did to switch my routine up, uh, I did the elliptical, did the treadmill, and then today I did the elliptical. But what I did differently, instead of pedaling forwards, I pedaled backwards at the same level that I normally do when I pedal forwards. And let me tell you, I can do an hour on the treadmill going forward. I could only do 20 minutes pedaling backwards. It really, I really felt, and that's another thing too, is that when we um, propel ourselves forward, all right, we're working muscles, uh, uh, your muscles, uh, your thigh muscles, the uh, quadriceps, to uh, propel ourselves forwards. But when we walk backwards, we're working our hamstrings, which is a huge muscle. When you start shocking those muscles, Man, you're really going to um, start uh, making uh, better uh, gains. And we go through our life propelling ourselves forward. We got to think about um, maybe um, going backwards, pedaling backwards. Um, I used to work as a trainer, and I used to train people to uh, walk and run backwards on the treadmill, too. Uh, not only is it a good exercise, it's a good show-off exercise when you can do it <laughs> and not fall off. I've never fallen off and I've never had a client fall off. So um, keep that in mind. Think of ways you can do things differently. If you do a, a three-set uh, exercise, switch up the, 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 the sequence and once you do the exercise, if you do this exercise first, this one second, do this one third, next time do third first and and second, uh, third, and and, and, uh, and first, second. And um, that way you'll be shocking muscles, you know. Um, sometimes do a light workout. Sometimes do a medium workout uh, as far as weights. Sometimes do what's heavy. Heavy is considered whatever weight will not allow you to do more than 10 reps. Light is whatever weight will, will allow you to do about 15 reps. If you want to do medium, shoot for 12 reps. All right. So, again, that's my recommendation for you guys. Uh, if you want, if you're doing challenges and you want to meet your uh, your goal, first thing is don't cheat. It doesn't pay. Take it from me. I, I wish I could. I wish I could take that day back and not have cheated at all. And I'm currently fasting right now and I'm like how come the weight is not coming off as fast as I wanted to I'm not I haven't eaten anything today is Sunday it's about 6 p.m. I haven't eaten anything since Thursday night the last meal I probably had was probably about Thursday night about 8 I'm guessing 8 or 9 o'clock so I haven't had no food since then I've had you know moderate amounts of water. I'm kind of like a camel. I don't need a whole lot of water. When I go to the gym, I don't take water with me. I really drink anything while I'm working out. So I'm, I'm kind of like a camel in that sense. So don't cheat. And if you want to make um, 
more productive gains, switch your routines around, do something different in your exercise uh, regimen, in your exercise programs. And I guarantee you, you'll be um, making um, better, you'll be more productive uh, with your, um, if you're doing a weight loss challenge or just on your journey and just in life in general. All right. All right. Um, so I uh, hope you like the video. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And remember, I love y'all all. Let's try to get in the uh, best health that we can all be in. And until the next uh, video, peace.